do here. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, I want you to set a goal, and I want this goal to be specific. Specific for the amount of money you want to be earning at that point. I want you to break it down into how many sales you need to be closing to get to the point you want as a salesperson. Mostly salespeople here. How many hours a week you got to be working or a day? How many dials? Whatever it is. I want you to get very specific on exactly what you want. I want you to set your goals, I said, not up at the ceiling. You raise your hand as high as you can and just a little bit more. That's where your goal should be. Reachable, but stretch. The greatest cause, the number one cause of mediocrity in this world is not that people set goals that are lofty and miss them. That's not what happens. Is you set goals that aren't lofty enough and you hit them. And you become average. Average sucks. Average doesn't make it in this world. It just doesn't, especially if you're in sales. You have to set your goals high enough so that they're meaningful when you hit them. Or else you'll set these little goals. Oh, I got my goal. Great. I'm, nothing happens. I want you to set goals at that level I spoke about, just above where you're comfortable. And I want you now to take it one step further and take that goal and make it into a vision. I want you to get specific. Write down exactly how you see yourself in 60 days from now, enjoying your newfound prosperity or your increased prosperity. Who will you be talking to? What will you be saying? How do you feel? Did you buy something new? Is there something in your house you wanted to get fixed? Is there a credit card bill that's overdue that you couldn't pay? And you paid it, Yahoo, I just paid my bill. I want you to imagine yourself at that moment and allow those feelings to wash over you. <sighs> write it down. When you write down a goal, here's the system. Number one, you write down a goal. Two, you put a date on it. Your goal has to have a date. Step three, identify the peoples, the groups, and the organizations you need to align yourself with. Step four, you take massive action. Step five, see what's working and what's not and change your approach accordingly. That's it. Set a goal, put a date on it. Identify the people's groups and organizations standing in your way or you need to align yourself with. The obstacles. Take massive action. See what's working, see what's not working and you change your approach. You set a goal, you got to do seven things, you accomplish three, great. Excellent. Before it didn't work, what's not working? Tweak it. You don't do the same thing over and over again. That's the definition of insanity, right? To do the same thing again and again and expect a different result. 